Hello, let's take a look at the basics of LilyPond. Here's an example file, example LilyPond file. We'll call it Happy Birthday, which already has some LilyPond code in it. You can see there's a header section. You can see there's a paper section and there's a score section. Now, what does this actually look like? We'll move to the visual tab which will kick off a process whereby the visual tab is created. So now LilyPond generates a PDF file. And here it is. And we'll just make it cover the whole area and then we'll make it a little bit smaller so we can see everything plus the output window. Okay, here is our small happy birthday Java PDF file with LilyPond functionality built into it. So in principle, once this functionality um, is fixed and some errors are solved, we'll be able to move these notes up and down the scale. But what you can also see is that we can play this music. So let's start by just playing it to hear what you've got. So happy birthday Java, you are 20, for fun and for gain, public static void main. Okay, so that's the song. You can see to start off with that um, there's instructions for it to be quick and snappy and it's set to 160. So we could go back into the source file, and here is at 160, so we can change that to, let's say, 60, and then save it, which will regenerate that PDF file, and we go back, and we see now this is 60 instead of 160, and when we play it, you can hear it's a lot slower. If we change it, say, to, from 160 to 260, it should be a lot faster. So you can see that you can very quickly tune this um, song and, and change the notes. And here you can see the um, lyrics. So here's a lyrics section over here. Add lyrics. And here is the, let's start with the right hand. So this is the higher sound. This is the upper part. And you can see it's got a treble clef. And the lower part um, is the bass clef. So this is the your right hand, and you can also actually see here new staff right, and then at the bottom you can see here new staff left, relative to C, and here it's a few octaves higher as a starting point. So we've defined the clef, we define the time signature, we define the tempo, and then we define the notes. So we can see here, for example, C4 um, on the left hand side, so in the bass. Um, so here is the, the C, uh, quarter note, so four means quarter. Oh, I'm sorry, um, whole note, so if, um, the, the four means it's a whole note, and then you've got an eighth, and you've got a sixteenth, and you can also see here that we have these um, this bit here, and then this bit again. So you can see that that generates these overlays. Um, so here, that one note above the other note and you can hear the effect when you play it. So, um, what you have here is a very basic learning environment for working with LilyPond. And, um, of course, a very nice feature is that you can actually play the music. What would also be nice is, as we develop this further, is to say, okay, let's play this, um, this particular part, and then this part, each section, each bar within the, the um, within the score, play that separately and have a line moving across um, horizontally as the music plays to see where you are. And that kind of functionality can, um, can also be added as we work further on this. And um, the next thing, so now that you see the basic syntax, you can see it's relatively easy. Uh, the final part here is layout at the bottom. So that causes the PDF file to be generated and MIDI causes the MIDI file to be generated. So from the um, LilyPond file, 
the MIDI file was generated. And so when the, this button here is clicked, that MIDI file that's been generated is played. So that's basically how this functionality works. And you can see it's all relatively easy. It's a question of um, getting to know the Lily Pond notation. And from that notation, you can generate um, the, the PDF file and even play it, as you can see. So actually, we're not playing the PDF file as such. We're generating a MIDI file. And then when we press the play, here, it's the MIDI file that's played. Um, and at the same time, you can see the, um, the notes. And you can tweak, tweak anything you like within the, within the source file. So we've now added some dots over there. And you can see that it's immediately updated. That's it. A quick introduction to LilyPond and the uh, support within NetBeans for working with it. And also, of course, a very nice small happy birthday song for Java, which is turning 20 this year. <laughs>